What is up guys, how's it going? In this video I will be reviewing the Samsung Gear 2 Neo. Now this watch was given to me by the folks at Roger, so a huge shout out to them for hooking me up with this. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the smartwatch. As far as the display goes, the watch has a 1.63 inch Super AMOLED touchscreen, which has a pixel per inch density of 278. Now on the spec side of things, this watch is running Samsung's Xynos, 3250 dual core chipset which is clocked in at 1.0 gigahertz it has 512 megabytes of ram and 4 gigs of internal storage now the watch also has a physical home button and in terms of software it's running samsung's tizen os now as far as the build quality goes on the watch i believe it's quite nicely built it definitely looks and feels like a premium uh, built watch. The strap is user replaceable so it's a 22 millimeter strap and you can replace it with any other 22 millimeter if you have one. And in terms of the watch on your hand itself it doesn't feel the strap doesn't feel too tight or it doesn't feel itchy or too bad. I believe it fits quite perfectly and quite nicely on your hand and on the back you also find a um, heart rate monitor on the watch and it's also where the charging cradle goes in order to charge the watch. Now the OS this watch is running is actually quite simplistic. Double tap on the home screen and you will get your brightness settings, your volume settings and you can quickly take a glance on your battery status. Now you can either scroll to the left or to the right from the home screen and you can see your different apps or settings or um, things on the watch which you can do or use and now there's also a proper dialer on the watch although you do need to be paired to a phone but you can actually make and receive calls only with the watch the watch has a speaker and a microphone so you're good to go and you do not need your phone to make calls or receive them the watch alone is good enough now a feature I'd like to talk about is the step tracking and this is sort of like a hit or miss feature but uh, I must say it does work 90% of the time and uh, it's quite cool. You get all your stats on how you've been doing since when you set the watch up. You can also um, set goals. For example, I've set 10,000. So each time I reach a goal, I get a little vibration with a notification on my watch that I've reached a certain goal and uh, it works quite well nonetheless. Another interesting feature is the sleep tracking, which you manually have to turn on when you're going to sleep and you have to turn off when you get up. It doesn't really show you much, but it does show you how long you slept for and the amount of time or the percentage of time which you were motionless. So you can see how well you've been sleeping or if you've been getting up and you don't know about it or if you've been sleepwalking well, this watch will probably tell you that. Double tap and hold anywhere on the home screen and you can see all your open apps and you can individually clear them away or manually clear them away just like you can on a regular Android phone. Now on the watch itself you can customize the overall color scheme and the watch faces from the app on the phone or the watch itself. Now there are a few custom watch faces on the Samsung App Store, but there aren't too many. The ones that are there are pretty cool, but then again, they can definitely use a few more. Now I personally wasn't very impressed with the collection of apps available for the watch itself. The Samsung App Store for the smartwatch has been available since last year, so they should have at least gotten several titles, but they don't have many yet. There are a few f official apps, but they aren't many. Most of the official ones are unfortunately Samsung apps themselves, such as Glimpse and then the Samsung messaging app. And they definitely need to get a lot more apps to improve the fu overall functionality of the watch. Now basic apps such as the calculator and calendar actually work quite nicely and quite simply on the watch, although it is quite funny using a watch uh, as a calendar or even a calculator, but they do the basic things very well. Also the weather app gives you an overall information of your weather quite nicely and quite detailed and um, basic apps do basic things very well on this watch. Now as far as notifications go, they come into the watch right away and you can view a preview of the notification, you can't view the entire thing, although if it's a text then you can, and you can also open it 
right on your phone from the watch and you can view whatever notification you got. Now the heart rate monitor works quite well but it does require you to be in a quiet area and not to be moving and you can also view your previous stats from whenever you've measured it earlier. The S Voice app is um, slightly improved when compared to last year but it's, it's still quite slow in giving you answers most of the time it's probably a hit or miss but when it does give you answers it gets, gives you detailed ones and it really impresses. Now on the settings menu on the watch you can set a few things and you can change you can set the watch faces, you can change the wallpapers, you can adjust your sound, you can also adjust notifications and brightness and a few more settings. Now when you get a call on the watch you can either answer the call or you can reject and when you choose to reject there are a certain number of text messages which you can set up on your phone and when you set them up those texts will be sent right away as soon as you reject the call. Now on your phone you can select which apps show notifications on the watch whichever app you do not select on the phone you won't receive any of the notifications from them on your watch you can sync all the data between your watch and the S Health app on your Samsung phone and that way you can check all your steps and all your stats such as your sleeping stats and your heart rate for example you can view all of that information on your phone as well now as far as battery life goes, I did manage to squeeze out a full day, two day use, although I did need to charge it the night after the second day, so it was pretty much like around 36 to 48 hours. This is actually a full usage of notifications coming in, of the brightness level going up, because I was outside most of the time, and I must say I'm pretty impressed. And if you're not using this watch much and you just get a few notifications so you can expect anywhere between three to four days as advertised. Now overall I'm really impressed with the watch. I, li I like its design build. I like its minimalistic software and OS. But what I didn't like was the fact that you need a Samsung Galaxy device in order to use the watch. Although there was a workaround and I was able to work, use it with my Nexus 5 but then again I had to sacrifice a few features and it was a bummer in the end. So Samsung really need to make this compatible with more Android devices and I believe that way it would also encourage development in terms of their apps and it will obviously give them more sales. I mean if it's compatible with every Android phone out there just like the Gear Live then these watches will sell just as well. But anyways guys that's pretty much it for this review. If you liked it please feel free to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to stay tuned to more of my stuff. If you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section below or you can follow me on any of my social networks. Anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.